Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. The AFS Connect Farm Management System from Case IH connects you and only you to the information you need most from your equipment from anywhere at any time. AFS Connect, only from Case IH. Anhydrous ammonia applications are going down in popularity due to regulations, the cost for dealers to offer and insure the product, and the safety of use compared to other nitrogen alternatives. However, anhydrous is sometimes a considerably cheaper alternative. While we can't control the politics or the costs, we can take steps to increase user safety. That's the topic of today's Iron Talk. The word anhydrous means without water. When it comes into contact with your skin, it can rapidly dehydrate and cause severe burns. The first thing to do is use personal protection. Wear tight-fitting, chemical-proof goggles or a full face respirator. Rubber gloves that protect against ammonia are also a must. Coveralls or a heavy work shirt are advised as well. Begin by inspecting the equipment before each use. Look for cracks on hoses or signs of wear or slippage around couplers. While most experienced operators aren't scared of a little product in the lines, you are taking a risk if you don't purge the lines each time that you unhook or inspect them. Check the toolbar quick coupler regularly and replace as recommended or as wear dictates. When switching from tank to tank, make sure that your hoses are the proper length. Also, always use the safety chains and hitch pin with safety clip to ensure that the hoses aren't stretched and that a tank never comes unhooked. When moving to and from fields, never exceed 25 miles per hour. If you follow these recommendations, accidents are unlikely, but if you do have one, farmers and custom applicators are required to report the incident to regulatory agencies. So be careful and be safe if using anhydrous ammonia this fall. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show. <laughs> 